Hello friends, in this particular video I will be showing you all how to make use of REST API endpoint for Frappe framework. As you can see over here in the search bar I will type doctype list and that will take me to my application where I have got one app by the name called daily do. So if I click on this you will come across the task which is my doc type. So I have registered this particular doc type task inside my app called daily do. So let me open the task and as I do that we get the option called get to task list that means right now what is the document that exists in this particular task we will be able to see. I have got one document registered over here that is called get up early. Now what I will be doing is that I will try to access this particular doc type, I mean the document with the help of postman and here it comes. With the help of postman I will be doing it. But since we will be working on REST API so for that reason you need to have the authorization. So what you need to do is that first you come to the home and as you turn up over here you will get to see the option called user under users. So let's click on the user and that will take you to the current user who has logged in. So I'm logged in as, a, as administrator. So if I come and click on the administrator or the current user, it will bring you to a page where you can scroll down and you will get the option called API access. So if you click on this, you will be able to generate a new API key, both API key as well as API secret. So I've already created one API key and the API secret is over here. So this is something what you need to make use of when you are accessing the REST API endpoint. Okay, this is the first thing that you need to do it, then only we'll be able to work on. Okay, that's great. So now let's move on to my doc type again. As I said that my task is the doc type and I have got only one document present inside my application. So now what I will do is that I will show you my REST API endpoint where I will try to access the doc type, uh, which the document which is there inside the doc type task. See I've written one method over here called get all task and what we saw just now is we have got one document if I click on this uh, description is keep your feet in progress today's date and the priority is high and the status is in progress okay so let me click my postman and here is my endpoint and here is my secret key and then I click on the already I got the data but let me click again on send and as I do that you get to see the object. So here is my document object that is present inside an array and exactly this is what you saw in the UI as well. Isn't it great, right? So how did I manage to do this? That is something what we need to see. Along with that this was the get response. Well I also need to insert a record, right? So for that reason let's come to this particular endpoint where I'm going to insert a new record. So let me fill a new title over here that is having breakfast that's a new title I give uh, and let the description be have good food and that is also in progress that is this today's date and the priority is pretty high so let me click on this and as I do that I will be creating a new document that got saved under the doc type called task so first let's come to the uh, UI and let me refresh the tab and as I do that as I hit the enter we will be able to see yes the new document that got ordered so having breakfast so let me click over here in progress today's date and the uh, priority is high so it's showing the exact information which I just now provided through my postman that means my rest API endpoint is working perfectly fine so let me now take you how did I manage to create this REST API. So let me come to my VS code where I have already got all my code done. So let me close all the tab and let me explore you how would you able to access the API. Since I said that I have created one app by the name called daily do. So let me click on the app and you can see over here I have an app called daily do. So let me expand this and as I do that you will get to find a new folder again by the same name called daily do. And inside this you will find again one more folder called daily do within which you will find a couple of new folders are there 
and there is one particular folder called doc type well api this particular folder i have created but you don't need to create this you can work with this particular folder called doc type so if i expand this you will find some good number of files over here and that is first of all underscore underscore init to make this particular folder as a current module and over here as i said my doc type is task so you will find another folder by the name called task that means whatever the doc type is given you have mentioned by that name you will get one new folder so let me open this task and here it comes inside this particular folder you will find a file of type js a file of type json and a and couple of pi file one is a test file and this is a file that is what i need actually so this file is the same name of your doc type so initially when you open this particular file you will just find the uh, the class task has been written and it's just empty nothing it has got inside and you have to import the fappy framework because with the help of fappy you are going to work on this and here now we are going to write for rest api endpoint which i will be working on you have to give a call to the uh, decorator and uh, it's a fappy.whitelist and one by one i will explore you with all this method which i have created so i give the name of the method as create task and whatever i am passing from my postman i will be working on those well i would like to show you one thing that if i take you to my doc list so my doc uh, doc type list as i said that i have a doc call task if i expand this and then i can scroll you down to show you that what are the properties that i have given over here see i've got title description status due date and priority exactly these what i'm passing in my method as well so first is the title so if you come over here i've got title description status due date and priority so in case if the title is missing then we will give an exception that this is required field you have to give it now what i'm going to do i'm creating a new document right under the doc type called task so you're giving a call to the to your doc type that is there in a system so your doc type must be there before you fire this rest api and here you have mentioned that and once you got the reference now you're going to add the respective data or respective key according to that doc type so title description status due date priority and the respective value which i will provide from my postman or from the gui will be passed on this respective variables and eventually they will be added right over here and then finally i will give a call to the insert function that will be responsible for saving the data inside your maria db and thereafter it will return the object which you will be seeing in the postman which in fact i saw the task and the task name what i have given create successfully is coming right from here okay so that's how this particular endpoint actually conclude so uh, you need to reach to this particular function and that's the reason why if you see it started with the app then we have a daily do inside this there is another daily do inside this there's one more daily do so basically there are three daily do's are there so let me take you to the endpoint so by default you will be writing local is colon 8000 because they are where your bench is working so for that reason that you need to write and then you have to write these two uh text like a uh, folder name you have to write one is called api that was called method you have to write these two things followed by as i said uh, your app name is called daily do you will be writing daily do and then you i will write one more daily do so basically your first app name you are skipping you don't have to write this so you're writing right from here so this is the first daily do and then there is a second daily do and inside that you have got a doc type folder and inside that your doc type name task is there so that what i have written doc type folder is there then the task that is there inside the doc type that is called task and inside that there is a file called task and then there is a method called create task so over here inside this doc type task if i expand it there is a file called task and that task has got the following not not this one this is a json file uh, this is the task and within that i have a method called create underscore task is that what i'm calling so this is how the endpoint will be generated okay so i hope you can you follow the path what you need to do and already you have gone for the authorization that you have to implement in the header and as i already said how to implement the authorization you please check out that portion and just add it over here so that's how you got the post api endpoint now let's go and collect the data already there this was the first uh, doc document that was there 
and thereafter I've added just now a new document so let me just click on the send button that will show me the current update but before I get into this again the same path which I was just now stated that would really you have to do it I have a method called get all task if you if you come over here and here it's the method get all task which is responsible to collect all the document that is there inside your document type that is all doc type called task and these are respective field that you have collected so uh, name title description status due date priority okay all the field that you need and it should be in the order of the due date okay in the ascending order the date ascending means on basis of uh, the date we are just sorting the stuff and then finally returning the object which is in the form of an array of json okay that's what we are returning so if i go and i click on the postman now we will see initially right now you saw that there is a couple of objects let me go to my go to the task and here we already saw there are a couple of documents up there and that what i'm going to see right now in my postman so let me click on the postman and as i do that i will be seeing both the document and here it comes the first document is the uh, get up early and second document is having breakfast and that's how it's an array of object great right don't forget to add the authorization secret key that is something very important so that was a part of the retrieve operation of the crud and now we move on to the update operation now we know that in case of update there are partial update there are full update if it's a partial then we'll give a call to the patch rest uh, header uh, and if it's a full update it will be giving we will give call to put but in case of fappy patch or put these things are not like they are not been uh, like often used so we will write over here even the post uh, api so with the help of post we'll fire this one now we are going to update the data so for that reason we need to mention which particular data we have to update eventually that sort of thing goes right so the request method type is over here is also post had this been some other framework like uh, django we have gone for patch because we are updating only the status the status which we can see over here is if you expand this suppose uh, I had the completed my breakfast so I would just need to mention this having breakfast so this is your unique ID okay as you can see over here the unique ID having breakfast so that's what you need to pass so that it can identify which particular document you need to you need to update so let's come over here and uh, I just need to go to this particular endpoint that is a post where I have to mention that the ID the task ID okay so uh, let me pick up the data right from here and the get that uh, this is the task that I want to update so having breakfast is what I need to update it so let me come over here and let me put that value over here and don't forget to write the header which is this is something which is required in all and I'm passing the data in the form of params so the params uh, there is a key called task underscore ID as you can see over here and the data which I have given is right over here so again the same endpoint has been called with the with the method name as mark task complete so let's come to this method called mark task complete and I'm saying that whatever doc type I mean whatever ID I've given for the current doc type task please compare that one with the help of the get underscore document so get underscore doc method which will able to filter a specific record that gets matched and then it will change the status to done so right now as you can see in the postman let me take you to the get again that this particular having breakfast is having that status as in progress but that what I want to change it to done so I'm written over here done and then save back once again remember the save method which I'm calling over here is the same save method that I have also made use of or not over here I've gone for the insert I was recalling another function which I have done previously nonetheless so this save method I'm going to fire because we're performing an update operation okay and then finally the data will be modified so let's come over here and let me fire this rest api endpoint and click on the send button as i do that okay i'm working on the get so let me come to the post over here my mistake sorry so let me click on the send button and as i do that it says task mark as completed great so now let's come to the get api to see that actually the change has been reflected or not so this in progress should get changed to done and I click on the send button and here it comes great really that working perfectly fine okay so that's how the put uh, API endpoint of course again let me tell you put and patch is not there it's all about post <laughs> so that's how the FAPI framework works so the update operation is also done now we are just left with the delete operation and this won't take much time at all so again you have to pass the name of the field on basis of which you want to delete or you want to identify so over here we can see that different different methods are there like 
get underscore doc to filter here here we have a method called delete underscore doc and we have to give a where condition so you're deleting a particular uh, document so you mention need to mention which particular document you want to delete so that brings us again to postman and we have got a separate delete endpoint and again we have to have the header the header is always fixed remember this and with the help of params I'm passing the uh, key so which particular field do I need to delete so let me go and fire once again the get API endpoint and we know that there are two APIs I mean two documents let's say that I want to delete get up early this is the uh, document that I want to delete so let's copy that let's come to do delete and in the under the params we will pass on this one and uh, let me paste it over here but before that just go and let's click one more time this UI endpoint just to see that yes exactly there are two documents are there yeah there's two document now we'll go and click on the postman and I click on the send button and I hope that the document will be doing successfully and it really does it deletes the document very smoothly let's come to the postman let's come to the get API endpoint and this time I'm going to see only one object within the array and here it comes just only one object and none is left behind right apart from this great now come to the UI part and as I reload oh automatically get up early is no longer there so that's how we have been able to create four REST API endpoint and we saw that how authorization is very effective to complete this current operation okay I believe this particular video will help you to implement this so please do following stuff and in my next video I will be talking more about the current operation okay until then have a nice time bye bye